G'day, I'm Helen, an Australian chef. I'm often asked the question, what's the difference between crepes and pancakes? Today I'm going to show you. These are the ingredients we will need. One cup of flour, two eggs, one and a quarter cups of milk, and a tablespoon of melted butter or vegetable oil. I'm going to, we're going to start by just adding the flour into a bowl. Putting the eggs. And then we're going to add the milk. And we're going to whisk, whisk that together. At this point we can add one tablespoon of melted butter. There we go, the crate mixture is ready. Now, I've already got my stove heated, so we're going to do this on approximately the heat of about 120. Don't put the crepe mixture in there until the pan is quite warm, ready to go. I'm going to spray with some canola oil. If you like, you can use melted butter. Now place the, egg, the pancake mixture into the bottom pan. Have it on an angle as you do it. So this distributes the crepe evenly over the bottom of the pan. This doesn't take very long and you don't flip it until the mixture is quite dry. Now that's pretty much ready to go now. Now gently get underneath the, cr the crepe and flip it. There we go, perfect crepe. This part here will only take a further probably 15 seconds. There we go. Now continue to cook as many crepes as you'd like. Now for our pancakes. The ingredients you'll need are two cups of self-raising flour, a quarter of a teaspoon of baking powder, a third of a cup of sugar, and one of a half cups of milk, a dash of vanilla, three eggs, and a tablespoon of butter. Combine all your dry ingredients into the bowl. Give them a little bit of a whisk just to combine them a bit and form a bit of a well in the middle. Now we're going to add our wet ingredients. So our three eggs. One and a half cups of milk. And just a dash of vanilla. Now whisk this together. 
being very careful because you do not want to overwork the flour. See that beautifully combined. Now we're going to add a tablespoon of melted butter. And combine that. With pancake mixture, you do need it to rest for about half an hour. I quite often make my pancake mixture the night before I'm going to cook. Now I already had my pan on, warming. Have it to a medium heat, but if you think it's too hot, turn it down. So I'm starting this at around about 140 degrees. Spray your pan. You can use a spray oil or you can use butter. People quite often use butter when they're cooking pancakes. Okay, now add a ladle full of pancake mixture to the two pan, and depending on how big a size you'd like. I mean, we don't turn this over until bubbles start to appear. And the whole pancake will be full of bubbles before we turn it. This is the difference between the crepes and the pancakes. The crepes are thin and take very little time to cook and are made with plain flour. The pancakes are slower to cook, they are thicker, and they're made with a rising ingredient, which is the self-raising flour, and the baking powder. As you can see, this does take a little bit longer. All the bubbles are starting to appear. I'm just going to turn that down a little bit as I feel like it's a little bit high. I don't want to burn the pancakes. As you can see, this is nearly at the point to turn. It's formed all the bubbles. Slip the spatula underneath, simply flip it over. And wait until that cooks on the other side, which won't take very long at all. Then you continue to cook them as many as you like and stack them up on your plate. There we go, that's our first one. There we go, there's the crepes and the pancakes. 
You can put maple syrup on either, or you can put lemon and sugar on the crepes, whatever you choose. If you like my videos, please subscribe. That helps me to build up my channel. Also, if you have any suggestions or comments of anything you'd like me to cook, please leave them below. Thanks for watching. Have a go.